just going to do a pre-swab alcohol wipe on the toe. And then we take our syringe, make sure there's no air in it. And first of all, I do the side of the toe where there's more flesh, sharp prick, into the toe. Self aspirating syringe technically. And then go through. Get the plantar nerve. And then come out, move position, come around, back in the same hole for the dorsal nerve. And I've put more implantally than I do dorsally, trying to use that half cartridge between the two injections. And then back in, medial side for the sharp prick. A little bit injected just where we do the injection site. It used to be called raising a bled when I trained. Slowly injecting down onto that planter nerve location. Take it nice and steady for the patient so it's not too uncomfortable. And then again, just getting the dorsal nerve on this side. And that's it. That's one cartridge done. Close that off. And a little bit of a massage with the anaesthetic. And that's your digital block done. So we now have a numb toe. We've swabbed it all down, cleaned it with um, a pre op, and we've um, put a, a barrier around here. Uh, just to confirm that it is completely numb, if I squeeze the big toe tight as it can, the patient can't feel that. Um, and actually, there's a little bit of rubor in the toe. Sometimes it goes uh, a lot redder than this, which indicates there's been vasodilation confirming the local anaesthetic's gone off. So we're going to use tourniquet. I'm old school, so we'd use a, an S March bandage, which is basically helping us to exsanguinate the toe, which is squash the blood out of it. Clamp it off, put the final bit on for a tourniquet effect. And there we have our tourniquet in place. We then need to elevate the nail on the edges where we're going to be taking it out. Now bear in mind that this is a completely numb toe. The patient's not feeling it at all.
just separating it from the nail bed. And then with our plate snippers, cutting down, they can be quite tough. The nails can. And then with our beaver blade, pushing all the way through to the nail matrix. Then we remove those bits, getting the forceps on and just doing a little rotation. If it's all loose, then it all comes out as one piece, like that. And we check the sides of the nail, make sure we've got all the way down to that nail matrix. And then clean any blood that might be down the sulcus, because we don't want the blood affecting the finalization. And then phenol soaked cotton swabs, cotton wool buds, working it into the side of the nail. a cotton wool ball or gauze ball just to stop any excess from causing any phenol burn and then just keep working that And the side of the nail and we're going to repeat this three times at one minute intervals just flood that one first because that was the first one done And I'm using chlorhexidine just to flush it out. And we'll just give this other side a little bit longer. And there we go. All flushed out. Take off the tourniquet. Check for vascular return, toe going back to pink and healthy. See if there's any post-op bleeding and you can see there's going to be a little bit on this side. So we'll just compress until we stop the bleeding. So we've made sure that there's, uh, there's no post-operative bleeding or that it's stopped now. And we're just going to dress it. I use inodine. 
There's the antiseptic dressing, placing it over the toe like that. And take my gauze, wrap it round like that. Another layer to protect from potential bleeding through. Put a tape to secure it in place that way and to stop it from falling off the toe put a piece that way some tubular bandage down over the toe to secure it in place and then some more tape at the bottom like that and that's the op done and if we look at this toe this is one that's been done before and this is what this toe will end up looking like in a few weeks time absolutely no problems from the side of the nail nothing digging in patient completely comfortable so that's nail surgery